let's go guys team r4ul your favorite youtube mechanic back again what i'm doing now is i've got a 2009 toyota auris 1.4 petrol and we're going to go ahead and replace the water pump not the hardest job in the world dead dead easy you can do it outside on the floor if you want send it up makes it makes your life even better but if you go underneath it make sure it's nice and safe you don't want the car falling on you you don't want the car falling on you but anyway uh yeah dead dead easy water pump 2009 2010 kind of thing 1.4 toyota auris auris or whatever you want to call it let's go let's do it Okay, like I mentioned, you can do it where it is in situ. If you want to, you can send it up. It's entirely up to you. Uh, I'm going to do both actually. You know, whichever way is easiest. Take this cover off first, like that. Try not to break anything else in the process. But you know me, heavy-handed, right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to go down there. The water pump lives there, as you can see this one here. So first things first, let's take the fan belt off, the auxiliary belt off, and we'll go from there. Okay, to take the fan belt off, the auxiliary belt off, all you do is you get a 14mm socket, ratchet, extension, or even a 14mm spanner, right, and go anti-clockwise, as you can see here. So when you go anti-clockwise, that's going to go loose, and with the other hand, you take the belt off. Okay, the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this one off here, 12mm. Okay, I've already cracked it with the ratchet, so I mean, then that way I can show you guys. Take that one off, there's another one here. Take this one off. Basically, the tensioner bolts, take them two off. Tensioner comes off. Drop the bolt as well at the same time. Keeping it real with you guys, mate. Okay, we're not all perfect. Basically, there we go, tensioner comes off. The other bolt is somewhere there, I will find it. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, I've sent the car up on the ramp. What I'm gonna do now is dead, dead easy. I'm gonna take this bolt off, this one off here, another one just round there. Okay, them three off, one, two, and three. I mean, if you want, you can do them from the top, but I find it easier to do it from the bottom. Uh, 10 mil bolts, this one here, one there, and another one there, take them three off and we'll go from there. Okay, them three are off. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna send the car down and take the bolts off on the top. I mean, if you want, you can take them off from here, but I find it easier from the top. So let's send it down and take the top bolts off. Take this water pump off. Okay, I've sent the car down. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these bolts off here, as you can see here. Can't really get it wrong. Uh, the water pump bolts. Can't even get my hand in there and show you at the same time. But just one second. Give me a second. We're going to go ahead and take this bolt off here. This one here. Can you see that with my fingers on? There. Ten mil there. Another ten mil just there. Another one in there, as you can see. Okay. Take them three off. Okay, and then we'll take that 12 millivolt off here, this one here, 12 millivolt here, another 12 there, and this 14 mil here. Take them off, and then hopefully this water pump should come straight off. I'm gonna take this 12 mil off here, and the one next to it here, that one as well, and this 14 here, this one here, 14 mil. We're gonna take that off as well. Okay, after that, all the bolts are off. As you can see there, everything everything is off. The two 12 mils on the top, uh, that 14 mil, that's off as well. Also, the three 10 mils, this one, you can see here, them two there, and another one there. So, I'll point out in the edit, one, two, and three on the top. Take them off. Now, we'll just get a flat screwdriver or something. Just do that. Try to get a bucket underneath it and catch all the antifreeze and water so you don't make a mess everywhere. But, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Water pump is off. Nice and easy. Happy days. Let's get the new one on. Okay, just before I forget, um, I mean, it's a bit of common sense anyway. Um, make sure you take the gasket off. Okay, gasket's off. Give that surface a little clean down. And uh, yeah, replace it with the new gasket, new water pump. 
that's about it okay guys there's the new one the new water pumps there i've got the new gasket on there i put a bit of oil or grease on the you know the gasket just to basically so you know friction kind of thing so it doesn't you know cause friction when we're tightening it up or when we're maneuvering it a little bit uh, so if you want you can put a bit a little bit of sealant just on the edges just to you know so the gasket stays in place but you don't really need to uh, we're going to get the big top bolt on first then we'll put all the rest of them on it should go on nice and easy so i need two hands to do that so i'll see you guys in a minute i'm going to put that on there i've cleaned the surface up in there yeah let's get it on let's go you can see there i've got the top bolt on there the two 12 millies they're on as well once you get them on okay you can't really get it wrong i mean the gasket can't go anywhere okay so now what we're gonna do is get all the other 10 millies on uh, the small 10 milli bolts on and that's about it tighten up on them and uh, yeah that's it let's go okay as you can see there i've got all the bolts on the bottom ones i sent the car up on the ramp put the bottom ones on as well i haven't tightened up on anything okay everything is in place all i'm going to do now is whiz them all on tighten them up and then basically uh, that's it uh, water pump is on uh, tightening it up basically if you want to go with the torque setting go with the torque setting i just go off feel um, make sure it's just tight okay and uh, yeah we'll get the tensioner back on belt back on get some water in it get some coolant in it job done okay guys i've got all the bolts on tightened up and everything uh all i'm gonna do now is what you could do now is put some water in it or put some coolant in it and just see if it leaks if it doesn't leak happy days if it does leak then obviously you've got a problem right so what we do now is what i'm gonna do is just to you know speed, speed the process up i'm gonna put the tensioner on put the fan belt on hopefully it should be all right and then yeah that's it job done So everything is done what we do now is i'm gonna put some water in there undo that bleed cap on this side here this one here get my finger in there this one here wait till the water comes out through this way or, or the coolant comes out through this way hopefully and then lock it up turn the car on full heat let it circulate let the thermostat open fan kick in that's it job done well that is it guys that's all done and dusted the toyota auris I'm just letting it, you know, circulate and everything and, uh, you know, wait till the fan kicks in. Hopefully, it'll all be okay. Uh, fan kicks in. When the fan kicks in, we'll check the water, the coolant again. That should be all right. Uh, I hope this video helps you guys out. If it didn't help you guys out, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button for me. Leave a comment in the comment section. Raul TV, Team R4UL. We'll see you guys next time.